Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll show you how to see your Google Chrome incognito history using a special plugin. Even sites you visited in private mode can now be accessed easily. If you've ever wanted to track or recover your browsing activity from incognito sessions, this plugin makes it simple and reliable. I'll walk you through the setup and usage step by step so you can start seeing your incognito history in no time. Before we dive into the installation, there are a couple of quick settings we need to check to make sure everything works smoothly. First, head over to your device's settings, then tap on General. From there, go to Background App Refresh and make sure it's set to either Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and mobile data. This will ensure the app can run properly in the background. Next, go back to the main settings screen and tap on Battery. Make sure Low Power Mode is turned off. This is important because it can interfere with how the app functions. Once you've taken care of these two quick adjustments, you're all set to move on to the installation. Now that we've got the basics covered, let's move forward. Open your browser and go to Aprilab.com. This is a reliable platform that offers various modded and helpful tools. Use the search bar to look up Incognito History and select it from the list of results. You'll be taken to a detailed page with info like download stats and user reviews. Just hit the Download Now button and the download process will begin. The download usually only takes a few moments. If this is your first time using the site, there's one more step you'll need to complete. Don't worry, it's quick, simple, and completely free. You'll be redirected to a verification page where you'll be asked to install a few free apps from the App Store or Play Store. There will be a clear tutorial showing you exactly what to do. Once the verification is complete, the installation will start automatically. In my case, the setup finished without any issues, and as you can see, the app is now fully installed and ready to use, and that's it. Thanks so much for sticking around until the end. If this helped you out and everything's working fine, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more useful guides like this. Got questions or ran into a problem? Drop a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.